Uh, I'm the General Manager for Bujigali Energy Limited, um, a hydro project situated, situated in um, Uganda on the Nile River. This is a, a joint venture between a private organization, a, a private developer, and the government uh, of Uganda. The period of time that uh, the um, private developer is involved is, is a 30-year period, and at the end of the 30-year period, the project gets handed over to the government. It supplies 250 megawatts at the moment. We, we've commissioned all units, all five units. Yes. The power generation is dependent on what is released from uh, the power plant upstream. So there's a requirement where the national grid controller, UETCL, has to try and optimize the power output at the power plants upstream and ourselves to minimize the spill of water. Okay. So they have to release water uh, to a certain number of megawatts to allow us to operate and supply the system as well. Okay. Then there's a further factor is that the amount of water the upstream power plants can get is dependent on the lake level. It's, it's uh, managed by the Department of Water Development and uh, obviously the higher the lake level, the more water than can, that can be discharged, the lower lake level, the lower the amount of water that can be discharged. So it's a, it's a level control. The dam here was not extremely complex, so that was not a major challenge. We had some geotechnical challenges here, but again, nothing which uh, could not easily be managed. Um, and on the, on the electromechanical side, we certainly did have challenges as well. A lot of the equipment came in from India. I think it was maybe one of the bigger projects that the Indian factory had handled. Um, so we had a number of issues in terms of ensuring that the quality levels were attained. And I think when one starts looking at that, that is absolutely key for the future of a plant, is to see that the quality of construction and the quality of material supplied is such that you're not going to have a failure in, in, or not have a failure, but certainly have major refurbishment in, a, in an eight or ten year period, because that then just adds cost to the, the tariff. It, 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 gets, it has to be reflected on the tariff some way. So that is something one has to watch very carefully. During the construction phase, um, the lenders, uh, there were various requirements put on by the lenders, and when, when one looks at it, uh, the particular requirements are, were around the social and environmental aspects of the projects. Uh, project. There were people that had to be relocated. Most of these people were, re were relocated in the first attempt. In total there were approximately 600 people relocated as a consequence of the power station. Um, some went into the village, um, some uh, they were paid out, their crops were evaluated, their structures were evaluated, they were paid out, uh, they were moved into a new village, uh, houses were built for them, and then some people decided to stay where people's houses weren't impacted, maybe only their lands. They've stayed in the same area, but they've got compensation for the land. But um, when Bell came in, there was still the aspect of supporting these people and doing further development on either side of a river of, uh, within the villages that were impacted by the, the project itself.